I got this at the Goodwill bins. I am one of those bins diggers where I go down and I dig, dig, dig right down to the bottom and I pull out these small toys just like this. And this is why I sold this. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about my bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. These are items that I have picked up cheap at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, Facebook marketplace, YouTube auctions. Um, I like to source cheap, but I am also willing to sell items for $35 or less in my store. And that's what this video is going to be about. My bread and butter sales items that I sold for $35 or less. So let's just dig in and get started. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. All right. So the first item we have, whoopsie. All right. The first item we have is this retired Boyd's bear. Um, most of these are going to be bread and butter. However, there are some that go for big money. Um, they are miniature minis. Um, and if they have on like a little sweatshirt that says like, I don't know, some words on it, look it up and comp it because some of them go in the hundreds of dollars. This one right here, not so much. I got it at a garage sale and it was a bulk buy. I think I paid a dollar or less for it. And I sold this for $10.49 plus plus shipping. I'm on the wrong page. No, I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I took a best offer of $8.50 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $15.22. The next item is this 1993 Barbie floating cool inflatable tube frisbee swimsuit. So it's a uh, just a new old stock item here. Super cool. I got this out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino, which is basically a mystery box um, for a reseller. And you can check out Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you. I will link them down in the description of the video. It's a great place to source for inventory and they have really fun, um, like chat. So if you want to go hang out in the chat, even if you're not wanting to buy, just go hang out in the chat. Super fun to talk to everyone and watch them sell stuff. I did take a best offer of $8 and 35 cents plus shipping. Um, the person messaged me and said, I really want this item. And um, I just, sometimes you get those emails or the messages and you feel like the person's just trying to like talk you down. But what she wrote kind of just made me feel like she was being legit. So I went ahead and took a lower offer on this item for that reason. I do think it was worth the asking price all day long. So uh, Fisher Price Little People, vintage green farmer cowboy, uh, 10 gallon hat mustache. So when you find these little people, most of them I lot up, but this little guy, he had some value. I took a best offer of $9 for him. The buyer was all in for $13.65 and I pulled this out of a thrift store mystery box. This is a retired teddy bear Gans Cottage Collectibles by Lorraine from 1999. I don't even remember where I got this. It took forever to sell, but I did sell it. I sold it for $13.85. The buyer was all in for $26.18. This one right here is so cute. It's a vintage Russ Berry Rover Puppy Labrador. It sold super fast. I think it's because of my picture. You see how I have it close up like that? I learned that trick from Donatella Bottolino. Before Donatella did uh, YouTube auctions and selling events, she sold full time on eBay. And one of the things she sold was plush. And she said that doing a close up shot of the item makes your item and your listing stand out. Now, she does usually tilt it kind of the, to the side, and that's probably what she's going to say. Courtney, you're supposed to tilt it to the side, but I liked this photo, so that's what I picked. But I sold this guy for $21, and the buyer was all in for $30.49, and he was one of my, when I went to that garage sale and all of the plush was $0.25, cents, this was one from that garage sale. Check out that video if you missed it. Oh, my goodness. I got the most amazing plush, and they were all a quarter each. This guy right here is a 1986 Starcom Lieutenant Mag Starmada Shadow Pilot. Again, look everything up. This is why I'm like, who is this guy? And I really just looked him up because I didn't know how to, like, I didn't know what to call him. And when I saw comps, I was pleasantly surprised. I did take a best offer of 28 on that. 
and the buyer was all in for 3520. I am not 100% sure but <clears throat> excuse me. I did not write down where I got this. I think it came out of a mystery toy box from auctions for you. And again, her and Donna are both linked down in the description if you want to check them out. This is a witch and the movement did not work. Lights and sound did. So do I donate it and just be like, whatever, it doesn't work? Or do I list it as partially working? And I listed it as partially working. I sold it for $18 plus shipping. And I got that at a garage sale for $3. These are Fisher Price Imaginex replacement discs and missile. I got this at the Goodwill bins. I am one of those bins diggers where I go down and I dig, dig, dig right down to the bottom and I pull out these small toys just like this. And this is why I sold this for $7.80 plus shipping. So are you a bins digger or do you not like to dig in the bins? Let me know in the comments. Um, I have a ton of good, well, not a ton, but I'm trying to add more Goodwill Benz videos where you guys actually get to watch me dig. So go check those out. Um, I have some new ones that I recently put up. So super fun, addicted to the Benz. The next item is this vintage Varsetti, Varset. I'm not sure how to say it. I think it's Varset. Hollywood Munzing, Munzing Wear Full Slip Dress. It's a size 40. It's pink. It's nylon. I got this at an estate sale and um, it has a stain. It has some small tears and it still sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Uh, it was in a big bag of vintage lingerie. So my cost of goods was very, very low pennies. This right here is Maxim Enterprises wooden magnetic trains. These are from Toys R Us. I sold these for $16.25 plus shipping and I got them at a garage sale for two bucks. This is a spooky, spooked witch Halloween um, costume. And this is called a hoop skirt. So it has this hoop in the bottom, which keeps it kind of flared out. Um, here is, I think I have a picture of the tag. Maybe I don't. I thought I did to show you the brand right there. Spooked. That's what it's called. This came off of a Facebook marketplace pickup and I sold this for $23 plus shipping. The next item here are these Cabbage Patch figures, mini figures from 1984. There's six of them. These also came from digging in the bins, um, bottom of the bins. And actually, you know what? These might've been in a bag. I might be lying. Um, but anyway, I sold these for $35.75 plus shipping, uh, all in for $43.30. This also came from the Goodwill bins. I'm telling you, I love it. Uh, this, I can't believe was not broke. It is chalkware. And it's super cool. And I sold this for $19.50 plus shipping. These little guys, I got these out of a thrift store toy mystery box. Uh, my local thrift store offers mystery boxes from time to time. And I need to go in and get some. I haven't been in forever. I don't even know if they have any. I've been trying to stay out of there because I have so much inventory, but it's so addicting. And I do put those unboxings over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Um, it's linked down below. Uh, but I just like to get them and do video footage of it. So even if I don't find a home run, it's still exciting and fun to look and take you guys along with me. But those little bugs, they sold for $14.30 plus shipping. They are from A Bug's Life. The next item here are these Fisher Price Little People Safari Zoo Animal Figures. I got these also from the Goodwill Benz and I sold them for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. This big, huge jumbo dog plush came from Facebook Marketplace. I think I got it from the same lady I bought the witch outfit from. And to be honest, this thing, I just wanted it out of my house because they're so big. But what I did is I squeezed it down into a bag and then I taped the bag and I put it in one of those 13 by 13 by nine priority mailboxes. Um, it was hard, but I got it in there um, and that kept the shipping cost down. I sold this for $25 plus shipping. The next item is this sleeping snoring bear with a pillow. It's super, super cute. It worked. I got it at the Goodwill for four bucks and I sold this for $32.50 plus shipping. This here was in one of my, um, I went to a garage sale and I wasn't planning on it and I got some amazing items, but this item was broke and I'm like, eh, it's probably going to take forever to sell. 
because I broke this little flag off. You can see it sitting right there. But you guys, it sold pretty quickly. I got it for two bucks and I sold it for $14 plus shipping. It is a uh, Sanko, Sankyo Japan. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sankyo, Sankyo, Copper Tin Toy Horse Music Carousel. It's a music box. These right here are flocked. Flocked means they're kind of fuzzy. And Winnie the Pooh, like I always say that I feel like it's kind of long tail. What do you guys think about Winnie the Pooh? Anyway, these also came out of the Goodwill bins and I sold them for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This is a Halloween lot. Um, these came out of a thrift store mystery, a Halloween mystery box. And it was just a hodgepodge of things. And I'm like, I think I can sell this. It's a lot of cool stuff, but I really didn't feel like parting it out. I ended up selling it for $28 plus shipping. This one here is a vintage 1983 Imperial White Wolf Dog. This here sold for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. And this also came from the Goodwill bins. All right, this vintage Fleer Spider-Man hologram trading card. So I went to a garage sale and I bought a whole box. Um, it had like four, I think, rows, all of Marvel cards. And I'm like, I don't know anything about this, but for $5, I'm going to get it. So I put it in a trash bag, the whole box, and I think I stuck it under my bed and um, for my husband to look through at another time because he likes to go through cards <laughs> or he says he wants to. He never does. Same with baseball cards. If I pick them up, I put them in a bag and I'll put them in his office or put them somewhere because we think that there's probably stuff worth money in there, but we, we don't have time to look right now. So they just get hoarded. But anyway, this one I saw right off the bat and I'm like, I'm at least going to comp that and at least get one listed. And I already like tripled, quadrupled my money. Um, sorry, my phone's going off. It is a Spider-Man card. I took a best offer of 25 on that and the buyer was all in for $26.50. Is that right? I'm sorry, I took a best offer of 22 and the buyer was all in for 26.50. And I've got pennies in that. This here is a DreamWorks Mattel Dino Trucks uh, dinosaur. It's four inches big. This came from a garage sale, 25 cents. I sold this for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. This came out of a Dibble Box, a mystery box from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. I sold this for $14 and um, the buyer paid shipping. Actually, I... I think this one was one she was showing on her channel and I was bidding on. So I think I have an unboxing of this one on my channel. So I knew what I was getting in that one. This here is a deer. It's a vintage Christmas spotted deer pin brooch made in Korea. Super, super cute. I sold this for $10. The buyer was all in for $17.09 and that came out of a thrift store mystery box. And the last item is this vintage Holly Hobby fabric. It is 21 by 44. So it is just a small sheet. But um, vintage Holly Hobby can be a big money bolo. If you can find big pieces of fabric like this, oh my goodness. This little piece sold for $33 plus shipping. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. That was 29 bread and butter bolos. Let me know in the comments which one was the most unexpected for you. Um, and do you sell things for $10 or less? What is the minimum you want to sell something for? Or do you go by, I want to 10 times my money or 20 times my money? What is, um, what's your business model? Drop it in the comments and leave me an emoji of an owl or put the word hoot. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one.